How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here. Today's going to be a complete anime series unboxing. And it's going to be on a show that I used to watch all the time on Cartoon Network's Toonami and Adult Swim Blocks. And that is Inuyasha. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So yeah, I did get a comment about this as to whether I was going to do a complete collection video uh, for it. And thank you, you know who you are. <laughs> so yeah, I did have this planned. So here's volume one, because the entire original series has been released on Blu-ray now. The last set just came out a little while ago. So feel free to check out um, the individual videos that I did for these. So I'll probably put them all together on a playlist. All right, so here's volume one. We have Inuyasha and Kagome. There is uh, the episodes, so this will bring you up to 27. All right, here's the spine. And these are being released by Viz, who's doing the Naruto, uh, Boruto, and Bleach sets. Okay, here's the story details right here. And here are the specs. So these are all four disc uh, sets, 27 episodes that will vary. Uh, stereo, 1080p, 4x3. So yes, you do have the black bars on the sides. Uh, stereo audio, English and Japanese. So yes, you do get the dub. English subtitles, clean opening, clean closing. And the extra on this one is an interview with the Japanese scriptwriter Katsuyuki Sumizawa. Then you get some nice screenshots here. And regions for all of the sets is A. Alright, so Inuyasha. Yeah, I used to watch this all the time. Uh, I still remember when it um, premiered. There was a lot of promotion uh, coming out with this. And it went on for a long time. Uh, I don't think I ever realized how long the series was. Uh, <laughs> until I went back and finished it. All right, so here's disc one. They all have some nice artwork. There is two and three. And there is four. And all the covers are reversible, which is really cool. So here is the back. And there they are with uh, Shippo, who is like a fox. Okay, and then here is the front and back. Alright, that does it for Volume 1. And, yeah, because uh, I think I lost track of the show after a while. Because there was a bunch of other shows coming out. Uh, other anime series, movies, uh, I think some OVAs were playing too. And I eventually went back, caught up, finished it. And, yeah, almost uh, 170 episodes. <laughs> and then uh, Final Act came out, finished it up. Finished it up and also the movies... It's, uh, so Inuyasha, really cool. So yeah, you can get it on Blu-ray right now. There's also uh, some other versions as well. So here is Volume 2 with Songo, Moroku, and Kilala, which I later, later learned was actually Kirara. I believe that's the original name. I learned that way later. <laughs> Here's the front. So can you get the whole series on DVD? Uh, yes, you can. So... You have the original um, Digipack sets. They're really nice. They fold out and everything. And then they got re-released in uh, regular DVD uh, keep cases. So it was like they did the same thing with Bleach. Uh, so those ones I think are the more common versions that you can find now. I have found the Digipack sets. So this one, specs are pretty much the same. 28 episodes. So yeah, that'll vary. You get another interview. Clean opening, clean closing. Here's some more screenshots. See, so yeah, I, I believe you can still get those new, the keep case ones. I have found the Digipacks uh, secondhand quite a bit for really cheap. So, yeah, if you're looking for those, just kind of look around. But do be careful of pricing, just in case. All right, so quality on the Blu-rays. Uh, Inuyasha looks good and sounds good. Uh, I think they did a really good job with these. Here's disc one. There is uh, two and three. Now I think like Naruto, uh, maybe not so much Boruto because that's new. Some shots, uh, maybe not entire episodes, but some scenes might look like it didn't quite get the full 
like effect, but I think for the most part, it looks really good. Yeah. Also, sound is really good too. There's the reverse side. And there's the front and back. And price wise, um, this one along with Naruto are on the cheaper side. Boruto, I've noticed, kind of fluctuate, fluctuates in price. Like the latest one is like 44 pretty much. It's like 40 bucks. So, uh, but Inuyasha is pretty cheap, you know, comparatively. So, yeah, there's volume two. Here is volume four with Seshomaru. And the tone kind of changes. So, you have like this purple kind of color. All the spines match up to, uh, they form like a little design with all the circles. So, I'll show that at the end here. Yeah, let's let it clear up. Okay. So yeah, really, really glad this got a re-release on Blu-ray, you know, like in general. Uh, final act, uh, we do have, so I'm going to get to that at the end along with the movies. There's the story details. There's the specs. Here's all the screenshots. And apparently there is a newer uh, Inuyasha series, or um, I'm not sure if it's an OVA. I think it's a whole new show. And I think it's supposed to be like uh, like years and years later. Uh, I haven't seen any of it. Um, I'm not sure there's a way you can watch it. I've heard like some details of it. So here's disc one. So anyone who knows, uh, excuse me, burping there. Anyone who knows more about that, feel free to let me know. Because I wonder if that's going to come out here. Here is uh, two and three. And here is four. So I'm holding on to it now. All the little uh, pegs are in there, but sometimes they might slip out some of the disc. Uh, I have encountered that before on regular movie shows and stuff, so just be careful. Yeah, there it's holding. It doesn't always do it, but just in case. All right. And there's the Shomaru, the brother of Inuyasha. Of course, they have many battles. And the story, uh, I really enjoyed this story. You do have like a kind of like a monster of the week, very episodic type of uh, thing going on. But uh, the overarching story, I think, is really good. Like they're trying to gather all the jewel shards. You have Naraku, who's like your main villain. Then you have Seshomaru, who's constantly fighting with his brother in Iyasha <laughs> over these swords. One that can heal and one that's uh, used for more like attack purposes. The Tetsega and the Tetsaiga, which are made from the fangs, or a fang, of their father. So here is Volume 4. And of course you encounter all these other characters, like there's a Koga for like the wolf clan. And Inuyasha, who's a half-breed, he's a uh, half-dog demon and a human. And then, you know, his brother is a full dog demon. There is uh, Kikyo, who is someone from his past. She plays a very key part. Alright, there's some more screenshots. Okay, and here's the inside. Once again, this has like a purplish kind of tone a bit. And, yeah, so you have uh, Kagome, who travels uh, to this world, which she goes down this well. There's disc one. And she meets, uh, you know, Inuyasha, who's, like, stuck in this tree. Uh, here is uh, two and three. And there is four. And eventually he gets freed, and uh, you follow, follow it from there. Here's the reverse side. Yeah, I want to say... Oh wait, is Koga the name of the clan? No, I want to say his name is Koga. Yeah. And there's the front. And yeah, you meet all different uh, other groups, other, uh, you know, like, sub-villains and stuff. The voice acting is really, really good. I love this cast. Uh, lots of names that I recognize from a lot of older shows. Uh, not just anime, but I think some regular... Like cartoons too, even some video games. Uh, but 
yeah, this is an excellent job they did. Really, really good. Okay, here's volume five. And yes, uh, I do remember the Inuyasha Kagome commercials. <laughs> Those, uh, I think they got annoying after a while. Yeah. There's Naraku, right there. Kikyo and Inuyasha. Alright, there's the spine. Yeah, all the spines have a different picture of Inuyasha. He's just in like a little different pose. There's the story details right there. Yeah, then you have the Bandit Seven, which is this group that appears later. Yeah, like there's a couple members. And yeah, the big thing is, you know, getting the jewel shards, because they have the they have an ability to grant many different like powers and stuff. Like they could even bring creatures back and everything. This thing is really powerful. Yeah. Yeah, and that could be just like one little shard. That could do that. So yeah, a lot is at stake with this thing. <laughs> There's disc one. There's two and three. And there's four. Yeah, the design, you have like these little bugs that Naraku has. Alright. And then there he is. Like his little group. There's a girl with the mirror. This lady here. This kid. I'm trying to remember their names, man. There's so many character characters. <laughs> all right, but yeah, all of them, you know, play key parts. Okay, and have I read the manga? I have not. Uh, I do plan on getting it uh, eventually because uh, I believe it got completely re-released in omnibus format. Uh, they get finished uh, releasing a long time ago, so yeah, definitely want to pick it up. All right, and then last up for the original series on Blu-ray, we have Volume Six, which will bring up to 167. So yeah, 167 episodes. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Uh, I think because after a while they started to repeat quite often, and uh, but yeah, really, really awesome show. Okay, there's the story details here. Another 28 episodes, four disc uh, set. So extras on this one, clean opening, clean closings. Uh, the music of Inuyasha is beautiful. Lots of really good songs. The battle music is great. The uh, endings and openings, I just watch those just on their own because they're so beautiful to look at. Yeah. So clean opening, clean closing, or clean closing. Uh, who's in the well? Uh, down the well inside the feudal fairy tale. Yeah, it takes place in like a feudal era that she travels to. Uh, yeah, the finale with the Japanese cast and Q&A with the English voice cast. Alright. And feel free to let me know, uh, what did you guys think of the ending for the original series before final act? Uh, you know, yeah, did you guys see it when it uh, first aired or did you uh, catch it later on? Yeah, feel free to let me know. All right, so there is disc one. There is two and three. Yes, they continue the artwork all the way through. And there's the last one, disc four. All right, and here's the final cover. You got a big collage of characters. Oh yeah, there's a uh, oh, what's her name? Rin. Yeah, Songo, Moroku, Shippo. So Shomaru, Inuyasha, and Kagome. Very nice. Okay, and that does it for the first series. And I'll show you guys all of the box sets together. And then I'll go ahead and show Final Act and the movies. Okay. So yeah, overall quality uh, on Blu-ray is very... Uh, very good. Uh, hats off to, uh, you know, Viz for getting the rights to, re to uh, you know, or just re-releasing this on Blu-ray in general. I think it's really cool. And there you see all the circles, like, combined. That is really nice. And there's all the different poses of Inuyasha. And then on the other side, it doesn't quite match. 
So you have to kind of like move around a bit, adjust them. But yeah, very, very nice set. Uh, definitely on the cheaper side compared to uh, uh, Boruto and um, Bleach. Uh, Naruto and this, they're pretty much like the same price-wise. So, uh, But if you can get them on sale, definitely do that. Inuyasha. All right, so last up, we have, or first up, and then I'll get to the movies. We have, or actually, you know what? Let's do the movies first. Okay, so here's the movie collection. Two disc uh, set, so you have all the films on here. Now, this one did get a uh, really nice, uh, I want to say digipack release as well. And you can buy them individually on DVD and stuff, so yeah. So, there they are. These are like the covers, just shrunken down. Okay, here's the back, or the spine there. And then, here's the back here. So here's like the little details. So two disc uh, set, 1080i, high definition, 16 by nine. Uh, DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 and 2.0 English and Japanese. So yes, you do get the dubs, English subtitles, production art, English credits and trailers. So it may vary. <clears throat> Excuse me, perfect in there. Uh, may vary a little bit. Region is A for all of them. So you get affections touching across time. The castle beyond the looking glass. Swords of an honor honorable ruler. And Fire on the Mystic Island. And I want to say that these all played on Toonami and Adult Swim, I think. Yeah, I want to say uh, Cartoon Network did play all of them. Now in high definition for the first time. So yeah, this is like a first release uh, form. I don't think they've gotten a second one. Yeah. So you get two films per disc. So there's the first two. Get like these claw marks. Well, that might be from the wind scar. <laughs> There's the other two. Very nice. Love the red. Get like the marks. All right. And that does it for the films. Uh, I really enjoyed these movies. Thought they were uh, fun. You do have some kind of story elements that are kind of hit and miss. Uh, but let me know. Uh, what do you guys think of the movies? And which one out of the four is your favorite? And who's your favorite villain? out of the four uh i think you have some familiar ones in here but then you have ones that are just in the films so yeah feel free to let me know and now last up we have final act the complete series so yes originally this was released in two parts and i actually found them uh second hand they were about um like 15 dollars each uh, used. Uh, they look like they were in really good condition. Uh, but yeah, uh, but then I found out they were putting it all together, so I just thought, okay, I'll just wait. So there's the front. Inuyasha, the final act. Complete series. So yeah, you might find those two parts, uh, separately, secondhand, just in case, uh, you know, depending on where you look. This is released by Viz, also. Along with the films and the original series. So here's the story details here. Alright. Four disc uh, set. 26 episodes. The whole series. 1080p high definition. 16 by 9 video. Uh, English and Japanese. Do you get the dub? DTS HD audio. English subtitles. Uh, special features, you get production art, story art, or storyboard art, three original Japanese trailers, original cast credits in English. All right, yeah, they just kind of like translate it. All roads have led here to one last battle and one final act. As it says, there's the uh, screenshots. Make sure you guys can see that clearly. And region is A. All right, so I remember the promotions for this. Uh, this was a really big deal when it was coming out. And I was like, wait a minute, they're doing another Inuyasha show? And then apparently there's another one out right now. Or at least part of it is, I think. And here is the first disc. You get episodes one through seven. Get some beautiful artwork on there. Look at that. 
there's Inuyasha and Kagome. There's Songo, Moroku, and Kilala or Kirara. They have Kikyo. So there's two and three. And there's the Shomaru, along with Rin and others, on disc four. And yeah, uh, I checked this out and really enjoyed this. Uh, final act I thought was really good. Uh, I like the idea of what they went with, uh, with this. And yeah, really enjoyed it. Uh, glad I got this set, uh, you know, save space of it. And uh, yeah, really cool. There's the reverse side. And there's the front and back together. So feel free to let me know, what did you guys think of Final Act? Uh, I really thought it was good. And it was cool to see Inuyasha animated again. Uh, I thought that was, that was awesome. And yeah, that does it for all of Inuyasha. So here are the movies and Final Act together. Very, very nice. And then here is all of it. Okay, I want to make sure this doesn't fall. <laughs> okay. Here's all these spines. Alright, so uh, final act, you can get that on DVD as well. So you had uh, the two Blu-ray sets. The DVD set, um, I want to say there's a complete version of it like this one. And then there were two parts as well, or it might have just been the, the whole series set. So yeah, just kind of look around. Um, this wasn't too expensive. I got this off of Amazon. The movie set, uh, same thing, off of Amazon. And Inuyasha, for the most part, I got all these off of Amazon. Uh, the third one, I think this is the one I got at Walmart. And I think a couple others I did too. So yeah, you can get these for pretty cheap. So, all right. Now let's go ahead and display all these for you guys. Okay. There's volume four. Here is five. Okay, there's six. And let's go ahead and put final acts right here. The movies. Last, I'm gonna scroll up. And there it is, guys. All of Inuyasha. Uh, so next is definitely getting the manga. I definitely want to get that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Inuyasha, awesome series. Music is beautiful, really good. Lots of really good songs. Uh, openings and endings, regular score, battle music and stuff is good. Insert songs. Uh, animation's great. Uh, that is really cool. I thought, I thought the movies got, uh, you know, look even better in a way. You know, because of a higher budget and stuff. Final Act looks and it looks and sounds good too. Uh, quality of the Blu-rays is great. I'm um, you know, for, uh, you know, in comparison to other ones, you know, pretty cheap. And, uh, yeah, feel free to let me know. What do you guys think of Inuyasha in general, the original series, Final Act, and all the films? And which one is your favorite? And with that... I'll see you guys next time.